اللي حصل فيها ما يسمى بفضيحة ان يعني فيش حد حاضر لم يحضر احد ليه كده مش عارفة والله يعني هما تلاتة تقريبا اللي كانوا في مدرجات حاجة كده اه ف... فناس كتيرة قلقت قالت الله طب ما تستضيف بقى كاس العالم بقى ايه اللي هيحصل يعني أوه. أوه يعني ما هو ده سؤال برضو سؤال بريء ومنطقي يعني لا ده بجد جماهير يعني هل ده في مشكلة عندهم في تسويق البطولة في طب خلينا نعرف تفاصيل اكتر في الفيديو ده وتعالى نتكلم في الموضوع It's just gone five o'clock here in Doha and the action behind us in the Khalifa Stadium is just getting underway with six gold medals set to be decided this evening. But as you can see, people aren't exactly flocking into the turnstiles. And this isn't just any event. This is the World Championship. So the images that have been broadcast around the world of some of the greatest athletes of all time celebrating their incredible achievements in front of near empty stands have raised some serious questions for organizers and athletics world governing body. This is my fifth World Championships out there and there's no comparison. It's the lowest audience ever. And the thing is, first, thing is is the lowest audience ever second thing is the audience which is at the stadium doesn't understand the athletics the local organizing committee released a statement addressing the issue admitting numbers were down on their expectations and that quotes we are confident our renewed efforts will encourage the local community to come and witness the stunning performance of the world's best athletes And then, about 90 minutes after the action started inside the stadium on day four, there was a sudden influx. Well, after three days of criticism of too many empty seats here in Doha, it seems we've got an answer to the problem. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of men have been bussed here to watch this evening's action. One boy I spoke to said he only found out he was coming this afternoon. The IAAF responded to our question about who the groups were, saying, as with many large sports events, organizers make provision for community groups to get to the event, and there are also school groups that are here through a schools program. So it is marginally busier than what we've seen inside, but certainly nowhere near full. And it's definitely not the groups of men in their matching T-shirts creating the atmosphere. Instead, like we've seen for the last couple of days, there's one corner in particular with some big pockets of Ethiopians and Kenyans, people who live here supporting their athletes. Doha isn't a new venue for athletics. It's been coming here, but to smaller stadiums for over 10 years. But this is the biggest major international sporting event held here since attention shifted in its direction with the Football World Cup now just three years away. It's certainly not the image that athletics or Qatar would have wanted the world to see. Amanda Davis, CNN, Doha, Qatar.